the day we're taking a look at these NFL matches, which are happening on Thursday, November 3, 2022, and giving you our player props, match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, by becoming a member of the High Stakes Patreon, you will have access to our best team picks, total picks, parlay picks and much more. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting predictions that ends up costing you a lot of time and money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Houston Texans vs Philadelphia Eagles the Eagles extended their league-leading winning streak to seven games with a dominant win over the Steelers in their last game. They will try to keep the momentum going with a win over the Texans, which will give them their eighth win in a row and fourth road win of the season. Philadelphia is averaging 28 points per game. They are throwing for 245.9 yards and rushing for 149.6 yards per game. Jalen Hurts completed 68% of his passes for 285 yards and four touchdowns in the win over the Steelers. Miles Sanders had nine carries for 78 yards and one touchdown, while A.J. Brown had six receptions for 156 yards and three touchdowns. Philadelphia has played well defensively, giving up 16.9 points per game. They gave up 13 points in their last game and will need to keep it up if they want to get the win. The Texans have struggled this season and come into this game on a two-game losing streak. They will try to put an end to their streak with a win over the Eagles, which will give them their first home win of the season, Houston is averaging 16.6 points per game. They are throwing for 196.3 yards and rushing for 92.4 yards per game. Davis Mills completed 59% of his passes for 152 yards, one touchdown, and one interception in the loss to the Titans. Damian Pierce had 15 carries for 35 yards, while Brandon Cooks had 4 catches for 73 yards. Houston has played well defensively, giving up 22 points per game. They gave up 17 points in their last game and will need a similar effort if they want to win this game. The Texans have lost 5 of their last 6 games and they haven't won a game at home all season. They aren't very good offensively and rank near the bottom of the league when it comes to throwing and running the ball. The Eagles have a very good run defense and an even better pass defense that is second in the league when it comes to sacking the quarterback. Houston's offensive line hasn't held up well against the pass rush this season, and they gave up three sacks in their last game, so expect them to struggle offensively in this game. The Eagles have won seven straight games and three straight road games. They have the third best scoring attack in the league. They have a good balance offensively, but their ground game is the sixth best in the league. The Texans are dead last in the league against the run and gave up over 300 yards on the ground in their last game, so expect the Eagles to exploit their run defense and pick up an easy win. Go with Philadelphia to cover the spread. Our team pick is Philadelphia Eagles minus 13 points. The Eagles have been hot this year, absolutely dominating the NFL with their balanced running and passing games. Philadelphia averages 28 points per game while keeping their opponents at 16.9 points per game. They average 245.9 yards in the air and 8.5 yards per attempt while averaging 149.6 yards on the ground and 4.3 yards per rushing attempt. The Eagles average 409.9 total yards per game. Leading the offense is quarterback Jalen Hurts, who has really helped the Eagles' offense develop. Hertz has 1,799 passing yards for 10 touchdowns and 2 interceptions. He's completing 67% of his passes and averaging 8.5 yards per completion. He has also contributed 303 rushing yards and 6 touchdowns. Houston started its season off with a tie against the Indianapolis Colts and then lost the next three games. They earned their first win of the season against the Jacksonville Jaguars, beating them 13-6. The Texans are averaging 16.6 points per game while allowing 22 points per game. They're averaging 196.3 yards through the air and 6.3 yards per completion. On the ground, they are averaging 92.4 yards per game and 4.1 yards per attempt. 
They are led by Davis Mills, who has completed 63.1% of his passes for 1,502 yards, 8 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions. Damian Pierce leads the ground game with 539 yards and 3 touchdowns, averaging 4.5 yards per run. Defensively, the Eagles allow 183.4 yards through the air and 114.7 rushing yards per game, as well as just over 5 years per play. C.J. Gardner-Johnson is tied for first in the NFL with four interceptions, while also contributing 29 total tackles and five defended passes. Hassan Reddick is tied for 13th in the NFL with 5.5 sacks and tied for third with three forced fumbles. In all, the defense has recorded 23 sacks, eight forced fumbles, and 10 interceptions. On the other side of the ball, the Texans allow 217.6 passing yards per game and 7.2 yards per completion. On the ground, they average 186 yards per game and 5.6 yards per carry. In all, they allow 414.4 total yards per game. Rookie Jalen Pitter leads the Texans with two interceptions, while also recording 29 solo tackles and a sack. Jonathan Owens leads with 58 total tackles. Jerry Hughes leads with five sacks, while also earning one forced fumble, one interception, and 14 total tackles. The best team in the NFL will be facing one of the worst teams in the NFL. The Eagles will absolutely be able to run the score up on the Texans. The Eagles can successfully run the ball and pass the ball, so they have options when it comes to play calling. I think we will see the Eagles pick up first downs very easily using their run game. Hertz has been great this season, so expect to see some big yardage plays that turn into touchdowns. Don't be surprised if the defense forces turnovers that turn into touchdowns. On the Texans' side, I think they will have a hard time scoring touchdowns against the Eagles' defense, however, I think they will be able to add some points to the board with field goals. Expect Philadelphia to roll the Texans and really run the score up. Our total pick is over 44 points.